Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is my new show where I'm going to show you how to fix your own computer. Hopefully my videos won't be too complex for you guys, you know, because I'm a computer technician so this comes naturally to me, but I really don't think a lot of it is that hard to learn, especially now some things have become easier to do because of both of the way things are built and the software and, and the way that they make it easier to, to do like a reinstall or something like that. So uh, anyway, let's get started. I got this thing. Basically, it's from a customer, by the way. I fix a computer sometimes out of my house for money since I don't have a job. <laughs> so um, I decided to make my own. So uh, the problem with this one is um, she turns it on and it'll work fine for a while. And then suddenly the screen will go black and she'll, you know, do this and try to wake it up and restart it or something. And sometimes the screen will come back on. If you turn it off and turn it back on, the screen will come back on for a little bit. And then it will go back off. Well, that's a common problem. The problem comes from a, a part called the inverter board. The inverter board, I just got this in the mail the other day. It's a little green little circuit board kind of thing. Not, nothing really special. Not fancy or anything. And it goes right around here, usually on the laptop. You guys can see that. It goes around there. Um, basically what it is, it acts as the power supply for the backlight of your computer monitor. See how my screen here is, is uh, lit up? LCD screens, which is what, what these flat screens are, liquid crystal display, they contain, they used to contain compact fluorescent bulbs, these little long, little thin, skinnier than a pencil, um, those kind of lights like that are usually in bathrooms or a grocery store. Like you look up and it's like a long tube kind of thing and they're like like four or five feet long or something like that. They used to have those those kind of lights along <laughs> along up here, like around the sides or something like that, I forget. I've actually torn these screens apart before and like peeled them apart layer by layer. They're really interesting. They, they used to be lit up by those and then recently they started being lit up by LEDs, which is, you know, it, what, what's common now with flashlights. And also a way to tell when your backlight's out, when your computer's on, if you shine a light on your computer screen, you, it's not on right now, but you can actually see, you know, your desktop and your icons, whatever else you have, your programs. You'll still be able to see it because the screen still works. It's just the light that's broken. And this thing is a, is a part that sends power to the light. It, it's pretty simple. It's like, um, it's like your phone charger. You know, you plug the little power brick into the wall. I guess it's, I guess I could kind of say it's sort of kind of like that. I don't know why these things fail. Um, every once in a while that the lights themselves in the screens will fail, but more than likely, and plus these are a lot cheaper. I got this, this on eBay for about 15 bucks, but it depends on the, on the brand, you know, model. Sometimes you can get these, I, I've got these before for like, you know, five, six bucks, like, like a couple bucks shipping or sometimes shipping's free. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys how to replace that, and it's not very difficult to do. You just take apart a few little screws around the edges of, of the screen bezel, and the plastic layers peel apart, and you just replace that little part. It's not too difficult. I'm going to show you guys how. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, rule number one before you start anything at all is you want to take out the battery because if you don't do this and you're working with the internal electronics um, you could do damage to your motherboard which is a very costly and complex repair that involves tearing the entire computer apart and replacing the main board inside which can be very very costly so take out the battery first and then we'll start Alright guys, here we are. Um, got the inverter board right here. Okay, um, these are the screws here. We have the screw here on each corner. Um, what we want to do is gently remove these little rubber things. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there you can see a screw is now revealed.
Okay, uh, next what you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and remove all these. Just a regular little screwdriver here, small, small uh, Phillips. Okay guys, now that you have that, you want to go ahead and take apart the bezel here, which is usually not too difficult. It's got little snap tabs, so uh, you usually have to just kind of, I'm the way I'm taking this one out is I'm starting from from here. I stick, kind of stick my finger and kind of give it a little, a little tug. And that releases the little clips, which I'll which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, and that's that. Um, this one got a little, um, it has a little magnet here on the back, which uh, when you close the lid, it's got a sensor down there. So, when you, so, so that's how the laptop knows when to power down the screen or whatever and go to sleep. Um, the magnet, the magnet kind of sticks to the side here. Um, as you can see here is the inverter board, clearly marked. And uh, what you guys want to do um, this one looks like, oh, and another thing that you guys want to watch out for is that those of you guys who have a webcam up here, um, when you take this up apart, um, I, I, I believe now that, 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 that you're actually going to see the webcam still attached here, but, um, sometimes you'll, you know, you, you'll have like a cable attached to the, under, to the underside of this, like from a microphone or something like that, so you want to be careful when you're doing that. Um, you don't want to just, you know, rip it off and then, you know, rip a cable or something, you know, don't want to mess anything up. So, um, yeah, always make sure, you know, since, since um, common places for microphones here, here, um, and you have your webcam here usually, and sometimes I'll have a little microphone right up here next to it, um, or sometimes the microphone's like down here or something like that. But um, anyway, that's just another thing to watch out for. You want to unplug these. Okay guys, this one was a little bit tricky. Um, in case you guys happen to have one like this, which is a Sony Vio, um, Here's a model number right here. It's a VG VGN NR310E. I'll put that up on the screen for you. Um, if you if you guys happen to have something like this or similar to this, uh, now some of them ha are attached by little screws, and then you just you know t take the screws off and take it off. Um, this one happens to be attached with a sticky tape. It's really sticky. It was really hard to to get loose. Um, and then it's also got like this kind of um, aluminum kind of tape kind of sticky thing here you want to keep on there hold that down and then peel this one off it, see it's got these little they're really sticky well not anymore um, let me just fix that you want to try to make this as flat as it was when it was on there originally if it's a customer's laptop you want to do it right if it's your own laptop and you don't really care then do whatever you want okay here we go here's a replacement which we will plug in right here just plugs right in there's one And there's the other, and this uh, just kind of sticks on there. 
it's already got the tape on there because this is a, a used uh, part pulled from a working model and if it doesn't work I will have to go back to the eBay seller so uh, there you have it and then you'll just replace this which is really easy to do you just kinda push it on and it's kinda you, you gotta kinda go by feel with this and some of them are a little bit tricky to get on there but typically just kinda pushing around the, the edges here work your way around eventually you'll get it to snap back in place <laughs> hopefully you didn't break all these tabs hopefully you didn't rip it all off when you first tried to take it apart because if you do that you'll break all those little tabs and then when you try to put it back together it won't stay so it won't be quite the same so you want to watch you really want to watch out for that <laughs>